All right, we're back for part two. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is uh, head towards one of the last encounter missions that I have available. Hopefully, it'll be entertaining, not too boring for you. I just have a little cold. I didn't sleep right, that's all. <coughs> Sorry, sir. I'm going to need you to come with me. What? Hey! Let go of me! Let him go, Mark! Alright, so that was an echo that I looked at earlier. It's not one that you guys saw. But it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Almost there. Now after this uh, encounter mission, I'm going to take you guys into the dark zone so you can get an idea of what it's like. Bear in mind there's nothing you can really do in there at the moment. You can kill a few uh, enemies, uh, NPC enemies, or other players if you like. Warning. Hostile presence detected. It's a pretty popular area for PvPers. I'll just show you how it works. First... We need to get this mission okay. done. Do it quick. Then we take care of him. More infected. You know what to do. Oh, what? Watch out! He got a live one. We can't let it spread. Don't let me touch it! Gotta hate flamethrowers. Wow, well, when they're being directed at you, anyway. Alright. Let's go find the key for the area. Prisoners that are locked up somewhere here. There they are. They locked me in here. They have to be keys somewhere. Civilians Finally. are secured. Well, thank you so much. That was terrifying. Now I need to get the hell out of here. And that's the final encounter for this part of the map. Now let's uh, take you on into the dark zone. Hey, you got a good heart. Sport bag. Uh, didn't get a very good item that time, but oh well. Materials for crafting. Which are no good to me in the beta. I'm not after a fight. Stay cool. I got no issue with you.
Alright, and these checkpoints are your entrance to the dark zone. This is where shit gets real. Don't waste As my time. You can time. see, there's a dark zone vendor. So Don't ask me where I got it. As you can see, they uh, offer some pretty nice gear, especially compared to what I have currently. Stop Unfortunately, we don't have time. enough points to buy that just yet. Let's restock. Head on into the dark zone itself and uh, show you what it's Biohazard like. Biohazard warning. Entering contaminated zone. Transmissions jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. System rebooted. There you can see another player running for his life. Caution. <laughs> Entering dark zone. Bodies everywhere in this place. And blood. Alright, now there's no real missions in here, but there are a lot of enemies in random places and a lot of people that just want to kill you and take your shit. So we're going to try and avoid them, but hopefully find some uh, NPC enemies. Maybe if we're lucky, get some gear. Then I'll show you what you do with the gear once you find it. Because everything you get in this, in this zone is contaminated. So there are these extraction zones that you can see here, 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 and here. Sorry, just here, here, and here. And what those zones do is uh, any gear that you find in the dark zone, you s take it to an extraction zone, call for extraction, like this one for instance is uh, arriving in 1 minute and 16 seconds. Somebody has already called for that. So if I had any items right now that I wanted to send back to get decontaminated and have them in my stash box, uh, I would take them to an extraction zone, hook them up to a helicopter, and hope that I survive long enough for the gear to get taken out of there. There's usually a half dozen people or more camping around those sites and uh, they try to kill you and take your stuff before it can be extracted. But that's the nature of the game. So for now, let's just wander around and uh, check out a contaminated zone. Should be one coming up here. See if there's any uh, gear around or enemies that we can find. And as you can see, it's a rank-restricted box. In the Dark Zone, some containers require a certain Dark Zone rank to be opened. The higher the requirement, the better the loot. Your rank can be increased by earning Dark Zone XP, which I need more of. I'm currently rank 6. And, uh, for the beta, the level and rank are capped at 8. So we we'll are probably not be able to open that box at all during the beta. Let's see. Let's head up around a landmark. Maybe we'll find some enemies. Okay, and this is a landmark area right here. It's a New York landmark. I'm guessing this is Chinatown. Koreatown. Like I said, there's not a whole hell of a lot to do right now in the Dark Zone, in the beta version. Morning. Readings indicate this area is contaminated. That's a rank lock box. Exiting the contaminated area. Right now, it doesn't even look like there's very many uh, NPC enemies kicking around. I can't think of this oh, I heard some voices. There we go. There's one. There's three. Okay, and you can see he's armored, and he's uh, rank six. 
so he's going to take a little bit to kill. I think they all are. Let's give him a surprise. Use a drink right about now. I think this one's lost. Ah! 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 Okay, that's two. There should be one more somewhere. Fuck this. There he is. managed to kill him before I died. And still no loot, unfortunately. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. Nothing in that box. Maybe there's something upstairs. Let's take a peek. Nothing. Alright, so... Let's keep moving and uh, try and find some more enemies. Hopefully find a bit of gear so I can show you guys uh, how the extraction works. Underground entrance. Oh no, this is an extraction. You've got a bird inbound on your position. So I'll show you guys how the extraction works anyway. There's uh, not really anybody around right now, which is unusual because somebody just started the extraction. That's a non hostile threat, so the game says. That's another player. What I like to do in these uh, extraction zones, when possible, is hide myself in the truck <clears throat> and uh, see who comes around. So we're going to see now if this guy has the balls to uh, actually go for the extraction and hope that I don't kill him. Or... Beginning item away. extraction. Okay, so now, he would have to attach his stuff to the rope there, to extract. Warning, your division affiliation has been disavowed. You are now marked as rogue. Fifteen seconds. And that didn't go so well for me. <laughs> but, I did stop him from uploading his stuff. <laughs> So it looks like I died, and that's what you get when you uh, sometimes try to uh, be the bad guy. It doesn't suit me well, so let's uh, not do that again, huh? We'll wait for the respawn. Hopefully the rogue status should go away as well. And what rogue does is when you kill a friendly player <laughs> inside the dark zone like this, it sets your status as rogue, and um, you can be running through the city, and you'll actually be marked as an enemy to other players. So uh, they'll be able to identify you as such really quickly and go ahead and kill you and loot you and 
so on and so forth. But I did stop him from, uh, as you can see here, the controls are a little wonky sometimes. I guess that'll be hammered out in uh, the retail version as well. So at least I did get to show you uh, what it's like to uh, use the extraction zone. And I stopped him from sending his items away that time. So he's going to have to find another zone now and do it there. Now, it doesn't look like I'm currently marked as a rogue, which is good. I think that's because I died. There are underground entrances as well, and I can't seem to locate any right now. Let's go back to the extraction that I died at. Get rid of my death marker. Agent, I am inbound on your position. Cargo pickup underway. Oh, this is a different place. Oh, yeah, this is the other one. Seconds. We're not going to go ahead and attack the guy. We're just going to watch him put his stuff on the uh, line and send it away. Which I guess he decided not to do. Alright, so we need to try and find some gear here. Somewhere, anywhere, so that I can show you how it really works. There are chests and loot boxes all over the place, so just uh, have to try and find them. Okay, there's an underground entrance. Let's head to that and see what we can find down below. Some of these go a few levels deep, some don't. Looks like most of the players that were invited to the beta have uh, stopped playing it now at this point. Earlier today when I came through this dark zone here, oh yeah, it was pretty common to run into 40 or 50 people in uh, within a 30 second time span. How horrible is that? It's what a viral outbreak in New York City will do, I guess. Warning, you are now entering a contaminated area. Okay. So 
Sorry about Believing that. contaminated area. I had to go back. I thought somebody was shooting at me. I was wrong. Oh, there's a few people around. Oh, of course. They're killing the other enemies. There's normally two or three guys in here that drop okay loot. I really need to stop doing that. I suck at PvP. Alright, anyway, you guys have uh, gotten a pretty decent look at what there is in the game as in its current state. I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, Let's Play here and hope you guys enjoyed it. So, hope it wasn't a little too boring for you. My first ever Let's Play. It was... Uh, the division, you know, I had to uh, had to do something for it. It's kind of a special treat, even just to be able to play it and t before it comes out. So anyway, all of you take care and uh, feel free to leave comments below. Please be kind. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.